Now, seven weather with meteorologist Julie Durda. On this Friday morning, we are waking up to a mix of sun and clouds out there. A lot of cloud cover streaming in from the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to make for mostly cloudy skies for our local forecast, and all of that is associated with Tropical Storm Rena in the Gulf of Mexico. Here are the temperatures this morning. It's warm and muggy out there. We've got 82 degrees in Deerfield Beach and Pompano Beach, 80 in Fort Lauderdale, 79 in Pembroke Pines, 80 in Hialeah and Miami. You're waking up to a temperature of 79 in Kendall and Homestead. And down by the Keys, temperatures right now, 81 degrees in Marathon. And for you in Key West, a temperature of 78 degrees. Now take a look at Tropical Storm Rena. Not looking impressive at all on the color satellite. Basically, it's disorganized showers and thunderstorms on the northern fridge of the system that is already making its way into the northern and central portions of Florida. Now the actual center of circulation is just north of Cancun, and that's well displaced from all those showers and thunderstorms that are occurring. We are noticing the upper level winds really taking control of the system. As you can see with the southwest wind in place, it's steering the storms towards the northeast. Locally, we're waking up to just some isolated showers, but most of the storms won't affect us until this afternoon and later on tonight. As you can see, the 8 o'clock intermediate advisory is showing Tropical Storm Marina weakening once again with winds only at 45 miles per hour, pressure 1,002 millibars. It's moving north northeast at 3 miles per hour, and it's currently located 20 miles north of Cancun, Mexico. Now, the system doesn't have too much longer to live. It is going to push towards the east, and then basically we'll be seeing it as a remnant low going into Saturday. Any moisture associated with it will start to push back towards Central America. There is another area, though, just south of Rena, the, the National Hurricane Center's watching with a 10% chance of development. It's an area of low pressure. Development, if it does develop, will be slow to occur. Otherwise, another area just 850 miles west-northwest of the Cape Verde Islands has a 10% chance of development. Locally here, we're waking up to mostly dry conditions. We saw some scattered showers in Davie and up by Coral Springs and one isolated shower right here over Boot Key as well as Marathon. Otherwise, most of the heavy rain won't start to move in till this afternoon and tonight. Let's show you what's going on. We've got two things that we're watching. A frontal boundary to the north, and we have tropical moisture from the south. Basically, we will be under both of these areas starting this afternoon, tonight, and into tomorrow. Heavy rain is expected, especially tonight and into your Saturday forecast, and we will stay cloudy. Here comes that frontal boundary. It is expected to stall over South Florida. That will still bring us a chance of showers by Sunday and even hang around till Monday. Marine forecast calls for a threat of recurrence. The bay will be at a light chop for you in the lower keys. No advisories near show waters at a moderate chop. Highs today in the mid 80s, mostly cloudy showers and thunderstorms possible. Definitely tonight is when you need to be on guard. We'll have see heavy rain possible temperatures in the lower 70s and then mid 70s for the coast. Saturday will be the wettest day of the weekend. Rain chances stick around as we go into Halloween. Have a great weekend.